All right, so before I start this video, I'm coming to India in the month of June. Uh, there's a Google form I have attached right here. There are instructions going to, you know, select which program you want to attend. I'm doing event for masters or if you want to study bachelors or if you're a job seeker. Go ahead and fill this form out. I'm coming to around 30 cities of India. You can go ahead and select your city if it's there in this. Also, you can go on to nikshala.com, go to personal sessions if you want to talk to me directly and discuss about your profile. Uh, you can go and book the appointment. Um, if you're looking for a solution for admissions, we have designed a lot of mentorship programs. So one of the you know recent ones what I'm seeing used by a lot of students now is the uh, one which is for 12 months program. And uh, these are the areas what it covers basically you get admission and visa support all right guys welcome back once again so i'm sitting here with Chaudhary. he is studying masters in embedded system here from uh, technical university of chemnitz and right now i'm in chemnitz uh, to interview him and uh, learn more about how was your process what documents did you give what kind of job opportunities are you aiming now what kind of subjects are you studying i mean think about your version when you were sitting on the other side watching Exactly. When I was sitting in India, it was like kind of a very big process. So. Right. It looks <laughs> yeah. like, you know, yeah. uh, one thing I want to tell you, trust me, it's not that difficult. Okay. The whole world would look gloomy, very gray. Everything is so messed up in the head. There's so much of information. Which one should I believe in? Which one should I pick up and move forward? Exactly. Okay. Watch today's video. He's here in live examples sitting here in Germany to share his experience of every little detail. Let's start. Chaudhary, why don't you give us your quick introduction first? Hi guys, this is Chaudhary from uh, Andhra Pradesh, India. Uh, I came here for doing masters in embedded systems at Technical University of Chemnitz. Mm -hmm. uh, back in India, I completed my bachelor's in electrical and electronics engineering from Shastra University in the year 2017. And after that, I worked for two years and uh, while I was working, I gave my years and uh, uh, got a score of seven bands. And uh, even during that time, I learned German uh, till B1 level. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. One question. How much did you score in your bachelor's? Uh, my bachelor's score was 87%. 87%. Yeah. Okay. And uh, did you give any GRE? No, no, no. Uh, yeah. Because uh, I, I have found that there are uh, no requirements for having GRE while applying to German universities, especially for my uh, course where, I, where the universities just want you to have this IELTS score and uh, your batches to be uh, taught in English language. Right. So there was no requirement and I have not given GRE. Did, was there a requirement for German language? I applied to five universities and out of these five universities, TUC has the requirement to submit A1 language certificate. Uh -huh. and Otherwise, uh, no? No, no. There are, uh, there are some other universities which don't ask you to have the German language, but it is always <laughs> very good uh, skill to have because it right. is all about language here. Right, in top of, you know, your profile increases the exactly. value of it. But your course is in English, right? Exactly, it is okay. in English. Good, good. Uh, Tell us what documents did you submit to UniAssist to apply for the course? Okay, uh, you just need to fill the application in UniAssist portal okay. and uh, they will give you the documents list which are required for the application. They are basically your 10th certificate and your 12th certificate and your um, bachelor's grade certificate and transcripts and uh, probably some cases I think uh, IELTS certificate actually, I mean this is the important thing and uh, actually as I told you TUC requires your A1 certificate uh, for the application of uh, embedded systems so I even submitted the A1 certificate. So these are Hello. all the um, <laughs> these are common for all the things. Right. Hello. <laughs> LOR and SOBI. I, I don't think I need to mention them especially. Well, yeah, okay. So how many LORs did you submit? Um, I submitted two LORs from my professors mm -hmm. um, uh, from the bachelor's uh, college and uh, uh, one uh, statement of purpose from which I made on my own. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Stating the motivation uh, which I have in my mind to do uh, embedded systems. Right, right. Yeah. What were the other colleges apart from TU Chemnitz? The other universities were uh, the State University of Applied Sciences for uh, a Masters in Electrical Engineering and Information Technology. Okay. Uh, with the specific, uh, it special, uh, special Masters in uh, Embedded Systems. And the other one is TU Kaiserslautern uh, with specialization in Embedded Systems. And the other one is TU Hamburg. Uh, and uh, yeah. The other one is uh, TU Chemnitz. Okay, <laughs> and uh, but you said you applied for five colleges, right? Uh, 
The fifth one is the Saarland University, uh, Saarland University, which is located in Saar, uh, Saarbrücken. Yeah. Yeah. Even uh, the masters uh, uh, taught over there is uh, embedded systems, uh, and I couldn't get into the mentioned four universities, and uh, okay. this is the only university I got into. Uh, what subjects are there? Like, can you give us a, a bit insight about? First of all, you tell me how is the course structured? Okay. okay. And what subjects are there inside? Either you can uh, go towards the computer vision uh, job market or uh, you can go towards uh, embedded software development or you can go towards uh, uh, ch chip verification and uh, chip testing kind of things. So uh, yeah, the, the opportunities are pretty pretty good uh, for embedded systems course here. In the first semester, uh, there are mandatory subjects like DODS, uh, Design of Digital Systems which deals with uh, how, to de how to design a digital system and uh, the subjects like uh, computer vision where you will have to deal with uh, um, as you know this is all about uh, artificial intelligence and uh, uh, having the uh, having the ability of uh, computers to understand uh, and think on their own and the other things deals with uh, the computer archi architectures and uh, their processing yeah these are the pretty common subjects in the first semester when it goes to the second semester the the subjects will be extension to what you studied in the first semester and uh, they'll cover uh, pretty much knowledge okay what kind of bachelors can apply for this course uh, as far as i know uh, a person who did uh, electricals and uh, uh, telecommunication engineering or uh, something for, to deal with uh, electrical and electronics engineering and uh, yeah, I think uh, these are the two common uh, bachelors uh, uh, kind of uh, things which uh, which I can see. I mean, the people uh, from these bachelors only I can see in my class. Yeah, yeah exactly. Your exactly, bachelors, yeah. right? How many intakes are there for this course? Oh yeah, uh, TUC presently has only one intake a year, which is in the winter semester, and uh, there is no in intake in the summer semester. Okay, okay. So if you don't get in the Get into this year, you need to be waiting for the second year and you should wait for the next winter semester. Right. So, Adri, probably last question, uh, yeah. what kind of job opportunities now you are looking at because you come from two years yeah. of software industry experience. Exactly, exactly. Now you have this knowledge uh, from embedded, where are you going to put this whole thing to? Uh, so yeah, so back in India as I was working for two years as a software engineer, I gathered good experience in the uh, software domain. And uh, together with the knowledge from the embedded systems, I am looking to get into uh, embedded software development jobs and also I have uh, interest towards uh, chip design and uh, chip testing and verification. So this is my field of interest but uh, if I can think from uh, somebody else's side, uh, there, there is an opportunity even uh, for someone uh, who is interested uh, to go towards computer vision uh, side and all. So there are there are a lot more opportunities I can say this as I told you the course at uh, uh, TU Cambridge uh, really really has the diversified uh, uh, version so you can you can really have opportunities in many fields. Would you say it's a bit difficult to get into Technical University of Cambridge? <laughs> uh, I must say I must say it is a little bit difficult because uh, as you people uh, know the uh, the application. Uh, uh, number for uh, getting into Germany is uh, increasing uh, year by year yeah. and uh, it's like a humongous number uh, last year as well and that's the reason I, I believe I couldn't get into uh, the universities which I applied for even though with good uh, uh, CGP and uh, good uh, experience in the software domain so I must say it's a little bit difficult mm -hmm. but not definitely a thing that you couldn't do right right <laughs> I mean at least make an attempt uh, even though your scores are anywhere between 60s and 70, apply and see what happens. Because and and yeah. I would like to mention just yeah, one thing. Uh, it's not it's not so difficult because I had uh, so many friends uh, in in the class uh, who has around 70 CGP and uh, 75 CGP. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, it's not about just uh, the marks and uh, right, right. and all that stuff. Uh, even the chair, uh, the people who who accepts your application clearly looks into the profile and uh, they they do evaluate uh, based on your. Uh, projects and based on your other internships or probably your skills which are related mm -hmm. to embedded systems so yeah it's not about the marks Got it. <laughs> it's not about the marks straight coming from someone studying in TU Chemnitz exactly. thank you so much for coming on my channel <laughs> thank you very much uh, I hope that uh, we have touched upon what documents he gave uh, you know what course module is uh, how is the course structured like there is only one intake uh, please 
put all this knowledge into work start working on the documents what he mentioned um, go ahead and give your LTS I think that's all what is needed okay um, and of course apply for as many colleges as possible into your field into your area of interest because every university who is giving embedded uh, there is in that particular stream also there are multiple specialization so uh, find which one is yours if you don't know uh, please reach out to the experts in fact if you have any question regarding the the admission process reach out to UniSS reach out to uh, university uh, directly the administration office they're the right people to answer your question yeah. okay. uh, with that being said thank you so much for tuning in and uh, if you enjoyed this video please hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys next time bye bye